Deep in the dark depths of the ocean, there's a strange creature that looks like it came from another planet. It is long, spindly legs that are so thin they look more like strings than limbs. And its body is shaped like a triangle with no distinct head or tail. If you can believe it, this bizarre animal is real. And scientists have a few theories about why. This is the Japanese spider crab, a 3.8 meter wide monstrosity that lives between 600 and 2,000 meters below sea level. Off the coast of Japan and Korea, despite being one of the largest known crabs in the world, it's not actually all that heavy. They can weigh anywhere from 1.5 to 2 kilograms. That's about the weight of a bowling ball. But don't let that fool you. You wouldn't want to mess with this thing. As you can see, the Japanese spider crab has a massive shell, but it's not just for show. There are over 600 known species of deep sea crab, and most of them look pretty normal. But the Japanese spider crab is different, so scientists have had to get creative when it comes to explaining why. So here are three theories about why the Japanese spider crab is shaped the way it is. The first theory has to do with something called convergent evolution. Imagine you have a big, flat pancake. Now imagine you fold that pancake in half and pinch it in the middle. What does it look like? A crab. Now imagine you take that same pancake and fold it in a different way. You could make a triangle, a circle, a zigzag, an infinite amount of shapes. But the weird thing is no matter what shape you make, if you pinch the middle enough, it'll look kind of like a crab. This may seem weird, but it makes sense from an evolutionary standpoint. The reason for this pinching in the middle is pressure. Water pressure, that is. At the bottom of the ocean, the water pressure is thousands of times greater than it is at the surface. And since crabs have been around for about 200 million years, they've had plenty of time to evolve flat shells that help them survive those crushing depths. But if the Japanese spider crab evolved from a totally different ancestor than other crabs did, then it would make sense that it would end up looking nothing like its cousins today. Instead, it would look like whatever its ancestors looked like, which might explain why it's so dang weird. But hold on, because there's another theory that might make even more sense. This next one has to do with the Japanese spider crab's exoskeleton. You see, an exoskeleton isn't just good for protecting your insides from the outside world. It also helps keep your insides in one piece. Without an exoskeleton, many animals would just flop around like a pile of wet noodles. And while the Japanese spider crab does have a pretty normal looking exoskeleton, it's missing one key part, the rib cage. In most crabs, the rib cage forms a circular or triangular shape around their body, which helps them maintain their figure. But in spider crabs, the rib cage doesn't form a complete shape. It's more like a bunch of thin plates that are loosely connected. This gives the Japanese spider crab an extremely flexible shell that can expand in all directions. This allows them to grow way bigger than any other crab species, without their shell getting in the way. But it also means that they lose their structural integrity. Luckily, the Japanese spider crab has evolved extra long, thin legs that act like stilts to prop itself up. These legs are so long that they drag along the seafloor. In fact, the Japanese spider crab uses these legs to walk sideways like a crab normally would, despite being technically flightless. So basically, the Japanese spider crab is the only crab species that has evolved to use its legs to walk forward. This might be because their bodies are so big and floppy that they need all the help they can get. But why are their legs so stringy? Well, that comes down to one last theory, hydrostatic pressure. Remember how I said that the Japanese spider crab lives at really great depths? Well, down there, the water pressure is so intense that it would crush most animals like a soda can. But the Japanese spider crab has evolved a special trick to counteract all that pressure. Its legs are essentially hollow tubes filled with fluid. This means that the water pressure pushes against the outside of the tube and the fluid inside pushes back. This gives the Japanese spider crab the ability to control its buoyancy and stay upright in some of the most extreme environments on Earth. But it also means that its legs have to be super long in order to work. Each leg is roughly two millimeters thick, which is about the width of two paper clips. And each leg is about 45 centimeters long. That's about the length of a baseball bat. It's not exactly clear why they need to be that long. 
but it might have something to do with the way they move. Since the Japanese spider crab walks sideways, it needs each leg to be longer than the other so it can reach further to the side. This means that they basically have the sets of legs, the front legs, which are shorter and thicker, and the back legs, which are longer and thinner. This allows them to move through the water like a crab normally would. And it might also be why they look so dang weird. So there you have it. Three theories about why the Japanese spider crab is shaped the way it is. Of course, we'll never know for sure why this thing looks like it came from another planet, but that won't stop us from trying. After all, the ocean is full of mysteries and there's no shortage of weird animals down there. Who knows what other bizarre beasts are hiding in the depths. Maybe one day we'll even find one that looks like a crab. A crab that looks like a crab. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.